Hey guys, continuing my series on 60 second solutions for cat questions. Toughest cat questions solved through the smallest and simplest reactions. This is a question from cat 2023 slot one. Uh, it's an algebra question based on quadratic equations. Let alpha beta be the two distinct roots of the equation 2x square minus 6x plus k equals zero. We know, we know that for a quadratic equation ax square plus bx plus c equals zero. The sum of roots is minus b upon a and the product of roots is c upon a. That's the only concept to be used in this question. So what they say, alpha plus beta and alpha beta are the roots of the second equation. So, so from the first equation, alpha beta are the roots of the first equation. So from 2x square minus 6x plus k equals 0, what we get is the sum of roots here is 6 by 2, which is alpha plus beta, which is 3. And the product of roots of this is k by 2, which is alpha into beta. And what they are saying is that alpha plus beta and alpha beta are the roots of this equation. So which means 3 and k by 2 are the roots of the second equation. So with this information, we can, <coughs> we can go ahead further. But I know that 3 and k by 2 are the roots of this. And if the roots of this are 3 and k by 2, I've got an equation x squared plus px plus p equals 0. So the sum of roots here is minus p, which is 3 plus k by 2. And the product of roots is 3 into k by 2 equals p. So once I have this, I just have to find the value of k and p and put it into 8. The target value is 8k minus p. So when I, when I uh, use this, I can, I can write k as 2p by 3 here and put that in this equation and I get minus p is equal to 3 plus 2p by 3 into 2. Of course, you have to have the practice to make sure that you don't make any errors while doing this, which then gives you minus 4p by 3 is equal to 3 and that gives you the value of p as 9 by minus 4, which is minus 2.25. And once you have p as minus 2.25 and you insert it here, you'll get minus 4.5 by 3, which is minus 1.5. So k is minus 1.5. So when I'm going for the target value of 8 times k minus p, which will become plus 2.25, I'm basically multiplying 8 into 0.75, which is 6. And that's the correct answer to this question. Thank you so much. I hope you're enjoying this series. Do follow for more and a lot of content on this channel. Thank you so much. <coughs>